We'll be starting with some breaking news and a spy racket involving the ISI and allegedly even uh, officials of the Pakistan High Commission has been busted by central intelligence agencies and the Delhi police. A head constable of the BSF who was in service and a laboratory assistant have been arrested from Rajori in Jammu. They are being brought to Delhi. Some documents from them have also been seized which indicate that both of them were involved in espionage. We've got Bhavtosh with us on the phone line from Delhi and Pradeep Datta from Jammu. But Bhavtosh, I want to ask you first, what what exactly was the tip-off which led the intelligence agencies towards this spy racket and how far and how deep could this racket have been running? Well, Padmaja, uh, Delhi police officers are saying that it's a pan-India operation and they are only looking at North India part of this. But the fact remains that in past three days, uh, ISI modules have been busted not only in Delhi and Jammu but also in Bareilly, in Meerut and also in Kolkata. Now, they have said that this was an operation that was going on for nearly two years. In fact, uh, this particular person, Kafatullah, was lured by ISI when he visited Pakistan in 2013. Uh, his cousin wo used to work in the, in the all-important intelligence unit of BSF in Rajori, posted there. Uh, through okay. him, he also got in touch with Army personnel and BSF personnel and was passing on uh, secret information or, or classified information through emails, Viber, and also through WhatsApp to his handlers. Uh, he was in Delhi to pass off, pass an important info information to an ISI agent. The Delhi police as well as agencies are not ruling out in involvement of a Pakistan High Commission official who in fact was coordinating the entire uh, ISI's espionage racket. He is under scanner. A report is expected to be uh, given to MHA by tomorrow morning explaining in detail how this racket operated and for how long this racket was working. Tamal, give us more details. What are the kind of recoveries that have been made from the men arrested? Well, just two days after Mohammad Ijaz was nabbed by, uh, you know, Central Intelligence Forces uh, from Meerut, here comes three arrests in Kolkata. Uh, they are Ashraf Ansari, uh, his son uh, Ishad, uh, his father rather, uh, Ishad Ansari, and their relative Mohammad Jehangir. Uh, they all, uh, you know, they, are, they, they all belong to the Khidilpur area in Kolkata. They were shown arrest uh, today by the Special Task Force of Kolkata Police. They have been arrested on suspicion of being associated with ISI. What we have picked up from police sources is that uh, Ishad Ansari had stayed in Pakistan for almost 10 years. Uh, his son had also visited uh, Pakistan very recently and Mohammad Jahangi, their relative, had also been to Pakistan as recently as in 2014. What we are learning from our sources is that as per, uh, as per ISI's dictat, they were working on the ports uh, uh, in the eastern region. They were given the responsibility to identify right. all prime ports in, in the eastern region and send uh, the same information back to uh, Pakistan. As for police sources, uh, they have in fact uh, sent several mails. There had been several mail transactions that happened mm. in the past uh, couple of years where information about uh, dogs, prime dogs in and around Kolkata, also in the Eastern Belt, were sent to Pakistan via, uh, via an email that was also created by ISI. So yes, uh, okay. the three arrests have been done and also, Padmaja, very interesting is that these arrests in Kolkata happened uh, just 15 days after there had been two arrests uh, in Kolkata. In fact, on November 15th, there was one arrest named uh, Akhtar Khan, who was arrested on suspicion of being an ISI agent, and a day later, his brother Khan was also arrested on suspicion of he uh, he being an ISI agent. So.